Lesson number one. Introduction to process simulation as Penhysis. What is process simulation? Process simulation is a model-based representation of chemical, physical, and other technical processes and unit operation in a software. It is used for the design, development, analysis, and optimization of technical processes and is mainly applied to chemical plant and processes. Why we use simulation for the design of various component in any facility or a plant process simulations are performed to solve mass and energy balances using inbuilt mathematical models to obtain the flow rates compositions and thermophysical properties of process streams at its various operating conditions it is also used to predict the fluid phase behavior. We can also use simulation software to detect abnormal conditions like formation of hydrates due to fall in pressure and temperature, fall in temperature below hydrocarbon or water dew point, flushing of liquid across control valve or drain valve, Condensation of vapor due to cooling, latent heat data required at relieving conditions, temperature and pressure for safety valve sizing calculation, the time behavior of inventory stream during depressurization, minimum temperature during venting from high pressure to atmosphere, which may affect material selection upstream or downstream of the vent valve in closing. There are two types of simulation in Aspen Hysis. The first one is steady state simulation and the other one is dynamic simulation. A steady state model performs a mass and energy balance of a stationary process or you can say that a process in an equilibrium state. The steady state simulator are used to perform process design you can determine the process condition which are required to produce your desired product. It will help you in process equipment design because once you have the mass energy balance then you are in a position to size the equipment required to produce the desired product. It will help you in process design optimization to determine the optimum configuration of equipment and maximize energy recovery. It will help you in process optimization. You can determine the changes to the current operating condition that can either reduce operating cost or increase production. Dynamic simulation is an extension of a steady state process simulation whereby time dependence is built into the model. So it is more complex and it need much time to provide you the solution because it is time dependent now it is also used for process design and it is used for operator training and optimum process control it is used to study the response of the process to sudden changes in operating condition in dynamic process design simulator the key operating conditions are maintained by using proportional integral and derivative controllers there are some specific scenarios which we cannot develop in a steady state like power failure shutdown startup so for this type of scenarios we need a dynamic simulation 
uses of simulation for process design. In a dynamic simulation, you can generate heat and material balance for the facility. You can generate process flow diagrams. You can perform equipment sizing calculation. You can perform line sizing calculation. You can perform equipment sizing calculation. You can generate process data sheet or a specification sheet for the equipment and instruments. Major steps involved in development of steady state process simulation. Use of this simulation software for chemical processing involves the following steps. First of all, you will select your component like methane, ethane, propane, whatever you have in your. Then you will select the thermodynamic property package. Then you will construct the flow sheet, specify the known stream and unit composition and condition. Then you will run the simulation program and interpret whatever result you are getting. In many cases, simulation results do not reflect what is really happening in a plant. Why? The first thing is that improper selection of thermodynamic model. Secondly, inadequate model parameters. Then, incorrect hypothetical component generation. And the final one is the problem with the plant data consistency. Selection of property package. Property packages, thermodynamic models are a specialized collection of methods for calculating the properties of components and values of parameter within the simulation. When you have established a component list, you combine the component list with the property package. The combination of the component list and the property package along with other simulation setting comprises the highest fluid package. So property package plus component list will give you a fluid package. Use of thermodynamic models. Thermodynamic models are used to represent the phase equilibrium behavior and energy level of pure compound and mixtures system. ICs contain over 30 thermodynamic models. Aspen ICs provide over 16,000 binary interaction parameters by default. Okay, these are the recommendations from Aspen Tech to select the property method. So, for the TG dehydration system, they recommend Bang Robinson. For sour water, Bang Robinson, sour Bang Robinson. For cryogenic gas processing, Bang Robinson and Bang Robinson stage equira. For air separation, the same Bang Robinson, Bang Robinson stage equira. Atmospheric crude tower. Bank Robinson, Bank Robinson Options, Grayson Street Model, Vacuum Tower, Bank Robinson, Bank Robinson Option, Grayson Street Model. If the pressure is above 10 mm of mercury, otherwise you can use Brown K10 or SOK model. For ethylene tower, there is a special model, Lee Kessler Blocker. For high hydrogen system, you have Pang Robinson, Zod Vectiv, or Gerson Street model on the basis of temperature pressure limits. For reservoir system, you have Pang Robinson and Pang Robinson options. For steam system, you have a steam package, Chow Cider, or Gerson Street model. I did an invitation for a hydrate inhibition. They have Pang Robinson. For chemical system, they have activity model and Pang Robinson Stigic Vera. For alkylation, they have Pang Robinson Stigic Vera and non random to liquid.